Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. Boy, it's very windy outside today. I have an interesting video for you. Today, I want to talk about the GoPro Hero 7. I want to talk about this black edition. I just purchased an aftermarket part or accessory rather for this camera that I want to share with you. This is the KLF screen and lens protector that I just got off of Amazon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box down below where you can find this in case you're interested. Basically what this is, is something very similar to what my phone has, and that's the glass that covers the screen. So in this kit, the first thing that I see here is a lens cover for the camera. I think that is super cool. Look at that, it just fits right in, it fits snug, it's really tight actually. It's a plastic cover, and it just pops on there, so when you put this away, you're not worried about the lens getting scratched. So that alone I think is really cool. The next thing that I see is a couple of things. There should be a couple pieces of glass here. There should be one for the front and one for the back. So I have a front glass here and a back glass here. Just like, just like the ones that you would see that you would put on your phone. Wipes. Number one wet, number two dry. Two wipes here. A wet one and a dry one. And the next thing you see here is a, a cloth, a microfiber cloth. And again, you saw the carrying case that all this stuff came in. We're going to open the glass that goes to the back. And uh, looks like it goes right here. It says back. It's got a little red label on it. And I'm going to take that microfiber just make sure that this is really clean. Hopefully you can see that. My battery is running down, so I might have to might have to get this going. Okay, so this portion that this little tab is on, let me bring that closer so you can see. This is what removes. So the part that's underneath there obviously is the part that goes against the camera. So let me keep that in mind. So I'm going to take uh, this little wipe here. It says professional screen cleaning paper. Uh, one removes excess dirt and one removes excess dirt. <laughs> so kind of interesting. So you got two wipes and it looks like um, you got to have everything ready to do it all in one motion here because you only get two little wipes. So basically you're going to have to do both pieces of glass. So here is the small one for the front. Same kind of deal. Okay. So I'm going to do, once I open this, I'm sure these are alcohol based, so they're probably not going to last long. I'm going to go with the back one first. So let's open this wet wipe here. Pull that baby out. Yeah, it smells like, yeah, it smells like alcohol. I should do the front screen first. So I'll get that because it's small, easy to get. Now I'm not going to touch it. I'm just holding the camera by the sides. And I'm running this all over the, the lens, all over the screen here. Making sure that I'm getting everything off of there. This screen is really clean, this lens rather. Okay, now let's go to cloth number two. I'm going to set this down. Setting it on its side, not on its back or anything like that. So the lens has no ability to come in contact with anything. Now this next one is just reminds me of a gun cleaning, cleaning patch. So this one is to remove those little lines. I don't know if you can see them, but I can. This is to dry. So this is going to basically take off any, any lines or anything that might be on the screen. Kind of a neat little operation here. And 
you could probably use uh, an alcohol pad or something too if you didn't have these. Now that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the front. Yeah, I can see where that alcohol was or whatever. It left like little streaks, kind of like on a window when you wash the window and there's streaks behind. So I'm just cleaning that up, making sure that it is like clean, clean, clean. Because once this glass goes on, that's it. clean pretty spotless the back I'm gonna flip this over and use the other side on the back and I'm just making sure that everything is spotless because I want I want this I mean you only apply this once so you want to make sure you do it right that looks wonderful I'm gonna use these uh, guide stickers they call them so I'm gonna put one so remember how this comes off one side? I'm going to put the guide sticker on the other side. That's just so I have something to hold on to. So just like that. And now I'm going to pull this sticker off. So the guide sticker is on the one side and this sticker comes off of the other side. So I can hold it from this guide sticker right here. Now, I'm going to apply this to the back here. And go just like that. Now, I'm going to go through and try to get rid of any bubbles or anything that might be underneath the glass. Just like I would if it was on a phone. So get that nice, good bond there. So now, I'm going to do the same thing with the small glass for the front. So I know that it, that it peels off on this side, so I'm going to put my blue sticker opposite of the orange one, basically. It's my guide sticker. So now I'm going to pull the orange sticker off which exposes the sticky part of the glass and let's lay that baby right there right on the lens and it's going to take it a second to get lined up use my fingernails a little bit just kind of get it get it where it needs to go and then once I get it exactly the position where I need it then I'll push it down and and apply the glass. Okay, so now I have the front glass in the right spot. Now I gotta just rub it down and get rid of any air bubbles or anything that could be underneath that lens. And then I don't need these guide stickers anymore so I can pull them off. Pull them off of the front and the back. I don't need those no more. And let's take a look and see how these look. Here is the back, looks really nice. And here is the front, looks really nice. These were very easy to install. Let's go ahead and turn the camera on. And I want to test the, the touch function of the screen here with the lens on, with the uh, cover on. So there's a look at what we can see. And let's just go look here. Let's swipe back and forth. You can see that the swiping is working just fine with my fingers. So I'm able to go through my modes. I can change my resolutions. I can hit the back button. Everything seems to be functioning just fine. I can see through the lens really nice. Look at that. It's pretty cool. So the glass is going to protect this. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you get one of these and you have trouble getting the front one on for example or something like that don't sweat too much um, because this front lens not the glass that we're talking about but the actual front lens if you pull that just slightly away and turn it counterclockwise the actual front lens will come off and you can replace those so don't panic if the front one doesn't seat 100% like you might want 
Now, another thing before I go that I want to talk about is this, this little plastic lens cover. I really like that. So you can take the lens there and you can put that plastic cover on right there. It's the same flat black color that the Hero 7 Black is in. I really like that. And plus, you know, you can put this in your pocket if you're on the trail, you're hiking, you're putting it in your bag, whatever. It protects, so you got two protections, almost three if you would think of it that way. You've got the plastic protector, now we have the glass, and then that lens can be replaced as well. So we have redundancy protection here on this front lens. That's one of the reasons why I really like this Hero 7 Black Edition. Uh, again, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video today. Please feel free to check the description box down below. I will put links to where I found this kit. And as always, I thank you for stopping by. I hope you got some good useful information here. Feel free to leave your comments. I really like the microfiber cloth that they include with this. I thought that was a pretty nice touch. And that's about it. That's about all I have for you guys today. <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.